do a tutorial on the hip cross carry. Um, I chose this one this month because it's poppable, and I don't feel like we've had a really good poppable hip carry or any um, any poppable carry so far in our collection of tutorials here. So um, there's a couple of variations on how to do this one. I'm gonna choose the one where you're holding your baby and then you wrap around your baby. Once you get more comfortable, you'll be able to do that. Um, you'll be able to tie this one entirely without um, without your baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, what I've done is folded my wrap the long way in half. I felt like this um, this took up a lot of the width for my shoulder because I felt like when it was unfolded, it was really messy and it was a lot and it also dug into my neck. I feel like this kind of simplified it a little bit. So uh, this baby does not have any, any head control. Make sure that when you're doing hip carries that your baby has head control. And it's usually about the age that you start naturally putting your baby on your hip. All right, so um, I'm gonna take this first one and I'm gonna take the top rail and put it over my baby's back. Uh, usually for this carry, you would use maybe a size three or a size four. All I have is a size six, but I'm gonna make it work because I know a lot of us only have those types of um, sizes. It's like our base size and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna make it work for today and show you how to do that. So what I'm doing is putting this over her knee and as high up on her neck. And I'm gonna put just a teeny little bit along her bottom, just like so. There we go. And then I'm actually gonna bring it underneath. So you can see that I have a hand on her back or her bottom at all times and I'm supporting her. So I'm gonna reach underneath her other knee and I'm gonna pull this past, make it nice and tight. Not too, I'm not gonna pull too much though because I don't have the other side of my wrap anchored anywhere. So I'm just kind of, kind of keeping it nice and even. And now I'm either gonna use her knee um, to keep it pinned down um, like say if you were using a size 3 or size 4, you would use this side of our knee to keep the wrap in place. Or if you have a longer wrap like I do, I'm just going to gather it up. I'm going to bring it around and put it between my knees. I suppose if you have a shorter one too, you can anchor it um, from behind. So now that I have this path anchored and it's nice and snug and it's supporting my baby um, quite well. But if your baby's nice and wiggly, just make sure to always keep a hand on your baby. But what I'm going to do is pass it around, come under my shoulder. I'm going to grab the top rail, which is the one on the outside, and then shake out the bottom rail. And I'm going to put it over my baby's back. I'm going to grab the bottom rail and pull it nice and snug. And then I'm going to put it over top of baby's knee, along her bottom again. And just like on the other side, I'm going to bring it under her knee. Okay. So you want to make sure that when you're tying this knot that you have your hand on your baby's back because they can get kind of wiggly. And I know it's really hard to reach around and try and, um, try and tie. This comes under her leg. But um, just do the best you can. If you absolutely have to, it doesn't matter where you tie, like on your hip or on your back or behind babies, uh, like right by their knee or anything like that. Like that's fine. Um, just get it nice and secure. If you have a long wrap like I do, you can actually just cross it over like this. And you can bring it under or over, or I'm sorry, you can bring it over or under baby's legs. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as that, um, as you get a nice secure tie. So that's what you would do if you have a nice long wrap. If you have a short wrap, just make sure you double knot wherever it lands. Just like that. Um, if you have slack in your wrap, like say you pre-tied it without your baby, if you have a lot of slack in your wrap, what you can do, um, and I don't really have any slack in mine, but you can take this top rail and pull it, let's see, <laughs> over your shoulder, just like we did with the pouch and stuff like that. Just like that. But I don't really have a lot of slack, and this isn't digging into my neck too much, so I'm okay just like this. Um, let's see, so I can show you really quick in our video on how to do the pop-up-ball. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start slowly peeling off these uh, layers over her back, just like this, and I'm going to make sure that I keep a hand on her at all times, just like that, and then I'm going to come underneath her arms and pull her up. If we get stuck, 
Try to free her a little bit here. There we go. So just like that. And we're good to go. And you can still see my cross passes and everything. So when we're ready to put baby back in, um, it's always best to work with the pass that's closest to your body. Just like that, like, so this one would be the one in front. If you started with the one behind you, it would be this one. It doesn't matter, just whichever one is closest to your body. I find it makes them more secure, and then um, you're doing a lot less fishing to find the other, the other pass. So I'm going to put her over my shoulder again. I'm going to work with the pass closest to my body, putting her leg back in it, grabbing the top rail. Now this is really important. I see a lot of people who put in like one pass over one leg and then put the other pass over the leg and then the baby sits in the cross. Um, I find this to be a lot more secure, especially if you're nervous with juggling a baby and the wrap at the same time. So making sure to put the baby in, spread the pass nice and wide. And now my baby's pretty secure, but if you've got a wiggly baby, um, always make sure to hold on to your baby as best you can. This was kind of tricky for me, but um, basically I'm just going to try and get as much slack I can, as I can between this pass. Slip my baby's leg in there, bring it to her knee, and then find your top rail and just slowly slide it up over her body, up to her shoulder, and voila! So that's a popable hip carry for you. Um, that's our hip cross carry. If you have any questions, always make sure to check out our blog for the photo and um, verbal explanation. And um, go ahead and email me with any questions. Thanks so much.